Hey everyone, Merrick here. We're back in the wonderful world of Sim Airport. Yay! So let's see. Let's see. Gmod pointed out that this is the result of all the trash cans that I put out. So we should probably go rid our objects and get some doomsters. And I don't have doomster style money. So, uh, um, let's get some Doomster money. I just had to take out a $50,000 loan to get dumpsters. There we go. We just, we just spent 20 grand on dumpsters. That's the kind of guy I am. You need dumpsters? Here's $20,000 worth of dumpsters. It's about two. Oh. I was like, why is everything going so slow? Because I have it on slow. Also, people pointed out that these guys, these little trucks, might be taking too long. My fuel truck and stuff. Um, I have one single fuel truck. I don't know what the fuel truck is doing. I don't know if it's going out and actually fueling things. I bought it sort of like, let's see what it does. So far, it's doing nothing. So I think I'm going to get rid of the fuel truck. Uh, sell that. We'll add another baggage car. Uh, what? 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 What is it? What the hell just happened? I sold my fuel truck and broke the game. Okay, um, frustration is 88%, bladder is 87%, so it does look like I need more crappers and um, less frustration. That's a much more useful snapshot than before. So I think what we do is we, we put in some small bathrooms closer to where people will be instead of my two gigantor bathrooms. Thank you, Gmod, for that suggestion. It makes too much sense for me to come up with it on my own. Also, hold on. <coughs> I'm allergic to good suggestions. So there's one bathroom. Bank loan interest. Dagnabbit. We're going to keep the small shitters here. We're going to build the big ones out here, back to back. You always go back to back on your crappers. Look at the garbage now. It is holding up all sorts of traffic. 76% passenger satisfaction. Frustration just starts out at 100%. Really? That's, I guess they all do, but that's rough. Okay, clear that out. Now to give us an idea of how big our foundation needs to be. So what is this? This is a uh, 8 by 8. So that? Or this? What? I don't know. We got to look at what my internals are. I think it would be better if we did some planning and got this right. So I need an internal 6x6 six six square. And then that is a 7x7 seven seven foundation. Okay. 
So we have a better idea of what we're going to to do for bathrooms. We're going to have a large bathroom. I'm going to be putting these people in here and letting them poop at high speed. You're going to run through here, drop them, squat them, plop them, pull them, run them out. That's the policy. It was disgusting. So we're going to have multiple doors. We're going to have just a wall of shit and sink everywhere. It's going to be glorious. We've just made this the wild, wild west. You don't even need terminal queues anymore. They're just going everywhere. You can get in. You can get out. You can get ticketed. My next pinch point is really going to be these guys, but they're able to keep up right now, so I'm not too sad about that. And I honestly, I need $50,000. That's what we're looking for. We are 100% boarded real quick. Highlight passengers. Yeah, nobody's stuck. So if we can get the bathrooms figured out, we can really line out this whole getting stuck thing. That would be real nice. Yeah, we have a thousand dollars and our passenger satisfaction is finally on the up. Rest and poo seems to be our uh, Achilles heel right now. And frustration seems really high, but I don't really know how to tell what the frustration points are. So we're just we're just gonna deal with that the best we can. Doors we're gonna put two doors in. Floors. That's uh, for our bathrooms. Okay, we don't want to cancel anything. Objects. Toilets. Okay, we can't do anything because we got pending construction. Oh, we're going to do our best to line this out nicely so we're gonna do toilets back here I don't know if those toilets block each other like that but then we're gonna do sink like that yeah, I know you need your designation. These are not functioning crappers, ladies and gentlemen. These are pending crappers. Okay, so we're going to have a, a bunch of red for now. I'm okay with that red. We're going to try to step in the male version of this bathroom just that basically one plane at a time style build strategy here keep us bankrupted the whole time as we build these crappers out <laughs> I will have this bathroom if it kills me. There we go. And then we can get these done. Stuck. Why are you stuck? Can you tell me why you're stuck? You're not stuck anymore. Okay. Good. Floors. Let's go with objects. Um, doors. Bloop, bloop. Get those doors put in. Pretty soon we're going to have the world's best bathrooms ever. 
Maybe not ever. I've been in some. I've been in some pretty great bathrooms. The best bathroom ever. That's gonna be hard to top. Let's be honest. Okay, we're gonna give this a designation of um, female bathroom, so that does go away. There we go. I needed to see what our pattern was because we're gonna do the same damn thing in here. Um. Oh wait, we can do urinals. Ooh. They're gonna get four regular toilets, a wall of urinals, and then sinks. Yeah. Use the bathroom. That's real creepy. Use my bathroom. That's for the poopers. This is for the peers. And this is for everybody. Sink time. Alright. So these are pretty centrally located bathrooms. So they should be able to service everybody. But we also have these bathrooms here for overflow. Or if you want to go there first. But I'm hoping that like you guys said. This will help clear out some of the uh, backlog that we received in our bathrooms. I mean, these are pretty massive turlet facilities. Male restroom. Look at that. They work. There you go. Bathrooms are done. And our male satisfaction, our passenger satisfaction is pretty bad. Not a hundred percent sure what to do about that right now. Heat map. They're spending a lot of time where I think they're gonna spend time. Zero time here or there. Could probably move these benches. Let's move those benches out. Clear this area out. Uh, objects. Ooh, we have new benches. I like that. I don't like this. I like having the distinct rows. No, I don't I don't want you to go home. I just want you to get off the bench for, for a second. You don't have to stay off the bench for very long. There we go. Now, that should help. I don't understand what the frustration level is. Like, I don't think their frustration should be at 97%. I think all of these should start at zero. I think the environment is definitely something we have to fix. I'm not 100% sure what to do about that. Right now, at least. We have a lot of money to overcome. I do think a fountain would be kind of cool. Like right here. And some decorative plants by the, the crappers. Decorative bush. But we don't have any money, so, you know. We gotta let everything air out a little bit I would like to get to the point where we remove some of our debt I don't know if we're going to get there anytime soon that's a big old plant I don't like that the bathrooms get Decorative bush twos. Because they're going to smell better than the uh, shit stains we're putting in. Yeah, in here. Somebody peed on the floor. 
Does that help? Environment goes up. Down, up, down a lot. Somebody doesn't like those. I think the frustration factor is is going is going to be a mixed bag for a little while until I have some money to make some uh, cumulative improvements. Oh, I wish I could center that between those two things. Um, let's put a fountain right there. That's kind of cool having the fountain in the middle of the, uh, the middle of the lanes there. Yeah, we're a solid forty. Three, so which is where we started. We apparently have a long way to go to impressing these people. Eh, what are you gonna do? That I do not know. Um, hmm, I don't really want any ops. Decor. Those are little trees. Big trees. I guess I could put trees out here, like tree off the the dump so they don't they're not running into the crap. Like that might help. I don't know why they're going around the trees, but that's fine. There we go. I like that. That's not too bad. Yeah. I mean, it's a start. You know? I'm trying at least. Boredom is in the 50s. Not 100% sure what I can do for you guys there. I'm not putting in a cafe right now. Just It's just not going to happen. Don't have the money, don't have the patience, don't have the time. Don't have the interest payments. Got to go down to $2,000 with our interest payment coming up. And then we're going to go deep into the red. Not as deep as we have been, but we're going to go pretty deep. It does feel like Satisfaction's playing a bigger role in our uh, airport over the last two updates. So that's a good thing. I like having the benches spread out like this, by the way. So I'm going to take these benches out and put small, nice benches in between. That'll give me the spacing I want and give them some comfort. Look at that. So that's like the super nice. That's like the three seater super nice. Body scanner. What's the benefit of this? I don't know. I don't know if that would make people happy or not. Personally, I'm not a fan of the idea, but that's just me. I could be weird. These guys could be clamoring for that, and I'd never know. Negative 3,000, that's not too bad. Environment's good. Information's not bad. Information, or bladders, I can't tell if that's good or not. I can't tell if you want everything to be at 100% or what. 
Um, it does not tell me enough. So I'll go with the we're up two points from where we from our low in satisfaction. Oh, I guess I can clear this old planning out for my mega shitters. Mega shitters. Yeah, like passengers. Somebody was in the wrong line. Looks like he's made his way there. Um, you have not started boarding yet, right? Right. We are boarding. We still have a pretty big... Um, uh, that's not bad. So, still have a pretty big congestion point there. Because we're bringing all of our passengers out front. Um, not 100% sure how to deal with that for the first gate. Other than dismantle this stuff and move it, no way am I doing that right now. Looks like we're going into the negative. Boredom, environment, and frustration and information. Couldn't tell you. Right. What can we research here? Operations, land expansion, standby gates. Oh, road building. Interesting. I think I'm good for now on all of this. What we really need to do is focus on getting our loan down. We really need like a, a couple of two episodes. A couple of hours of just running the game without um, without spending money essentially. So I was trying to not say without improvements but it looks like we're going to have to do it without improvements. Because we still need $14,000 to drop our interest to 9000 Could you imagine how profitable I'll be once I have all that crap paid off? Heck yeah. Buses are loading over there by the freaking trash cans. I don't understand why we're loading there. See zones. Let's clear this pickup zone out. All right, we want pickups to be like this. Now they're not loading next to the trash cans. That makes me happier. I don't know if that affects anything, but it makes me feel better. And that matters. Hopefully I'm running a less frustrating airport right now. I think that'd be nice. I'd, I'd poop in my airport if I had a private bathroom that wasn't used by everybody else. Absolutely. Very private bathroom. Flights in. We need what? Two more flights? We should have them. Zoom in for daily flight details. Yeah, we've got the flights coming in. We'll have 50 grand before the interest comes due. There it is. Boop. So we'll go red a little bit. A lot less than we normally would. About 10 grand less. That's worth it. That's L'Oreal style worth it.
These are our last flights. No, we got two more. Ooh, yeah. We might go only go in the red by two grand from our interest, of course. Our nighttime operation costs are not going to really help us out here. That extra baggage car, I don't know if it's making a difference or not. I mean, it's not hurting anything. We'll see. I like that the pickups are no longer rubbing up against the garbage. That's nice. Um, interest is about to come due. There it is. $403? That's not bad at all. That's that's better than we've been in a long time. A real long time. So I'm pretty pleased with that. We'll start the day at, like, what, negative 6,000? We can handle that. People are coming in. Hopefully they're going to spend some money. I'd like it if they spent money. Let's see. Here comes the hour change. Flights are in route, thou. Thou? Though. Thou shalt write on my flights. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be about 6,000. Maybe eight. I hope not eight. That would hurt. Here comes the first flight. Yeah, that wasn't bad. Six thousand to the first flight. I can handle that. Let's see. Heat maps. We're spending a lot of time right there in that little corridor. Hmm. Indoor secure. Blah, 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 blah. Environmental heat maps. Oh, what do they think is ugly? They are unhappy with the bathrooms, which I'm not going to do anything for, but these areas, they're pretty unhappy with. I'm not really sure what I can do. There, I just spent a bunch of money on plants. Will that help my environmental heat map? I think this is just like people congregating. I don't think it's like ugliness. I don't know. We got a lot of more green than we usually have on here, so maybe it is ugliness. So maybe some, some plants over there would do. Who knows? Somebody does. Eh, somebody's just not me. Boop. Boop. It's definitely greener. That That's a plus. Still not going to put plants in the shitter. I guess I could put... You know what? I'm going to put display fountains in the shitters. Obviously, male fountain, female fountain. Haha. <laughs> That's how I roll. We're almost at 50% on the environment. We are 50% on the environment. That's hilarious. That's just... That's just funny. They like the way the shitters look. We're getting a lot of negativity over here and here on the outside of this fountain some here but overall we're doing pretty good the trash is causing some issues so more janitors would help
that would definitely clean things up. We're up to 51%, highest it's been so far. We did just spend a lot of money on janitors, though. That is going to suck some, some sloppy ones. It's time to see what we have in here. We have a bunch of conveyor. I am going to bulk sell all that stuff. I can use the money. I don't really need it, and I can buy it in the future. I don't see us adding any more carousels. Um, we have enough to support a third or an extra runway, a fourth runway. All the infrastructure for the runway is there. So I don't see the need for having a storage bin full of stuff for runways we're not building right now. And we should be able to knock another 50k off. Even with my spending. Boredom is pretty um, high, but I'm not sure what to do about that. I guess I could put the electronics vending machine back in too, by the way. I mean, I, I did kind of rip that out because that guy missed his flight and I got mad at him. So we'll put that back in. Yeah, people love that. They are all about that electronics vending machine. Jesus, people. You animals. I don't want to put another one in. I want to try to get 50k. I'm not going to. I'm going to try to before the end of this episode. My lord. Look at this. I need more vending machines. You know what? I could put one over here, too. It's not going to do as much. But I'm going to see if I can't redirect some of the flow here to some of these less, like, massed... Oh, wow. I lied. Dude, the electronic vending machines are just nuts. Are they going to cause missed flights? Your flights aren't even here yet. Alright. As long as you guys aren't missing your flights, I should probably put some flight info display boards. Yeah, back there, so that we don't have any missed flights because of our lack of information. Uh, Alright, that's it for our flights. The day has rolled over. We ended with $25,000. I spent a lot of money on retail and stuff. I think tomorrow our P&Ls will be a lot nicer. Well, today our P&Ls will be a lot nicer. Yeah, retail still raked in the cash. That's insane. Vending machines. They came in in like the last couple hours, still made a thousand dollars. It's about crazy. Okay. Well, profit and loss. That's what we're gonna watch today. Let's see what happens with our retail. I'm gonna go a little bit longer on this episode. I want to watch the, the unfolding of the retail expenses. Electronic vending machines, $220. Crushing it. We're still in the red, though, on all of it, except for runway fees and terminal fees. And our day overall is in the red. But the day's just begun. It's 5 a.m. Retail is now turning a profit. Okay. Well, um, let the profit sectors 
grow. Yeah, look at that. $27,000. Or $2,700. So I wish it was 27000 $2,700 in retail, 28000 in the bank, 2000 in runway fees. We are now officially making more in retail than we are runway fees. That's a beautiful sight. That is a beautiful sight. Man, look at them go. If they could beat terminal fees, I'd be real happy. We gotta watch out for missed flights, though. Our satisfaction is going nuts. Look at that. The rest is the big complaint now. Frustration's fine. Boredom is going somewhere. Our environment has dropped way down. Not sure why. Not sure I care. I'm making money at this point. The bank is about to lose another, uh, was it three grand in interest? Be pretty happy with that. Okay, hold on. Dude. Done. So we're about to... We may be able to bring it down to a $3,000 bank loan. Or interest. But we got $59,000 in bank expenses. We're not going to do well on our net total. But that's okay. Or not our net total, our expenses. Because I am paying off the bank. But our net total, I think, is going to balance out nicely. Where we're going to show a net gain for the day, or at least as close to a um, net positive overall as, as we've been in a long time. I mean, just the interest alone is, is worth that fee. Let's see what we can do. Got a few more hours left in the day. We'll finish this day out, and then we'll have to wrap the episode. Look at the money just rolling in. Down 19000 That's not bad at all. Down 17000 25 grand in retail income. We're a shopping mall. Man, that helps so much. It's crazy. We are not going to start the day, the next day in this game in the red, even after dropping a $50,000 payment. That's nuts. Dude, these, these vending machines are the best. They've got to be our big earners. Yeah. Five grand. Those are pretty big. They're not our big earners, though. That would be the dessert and snack food kiosk. Those things are going nuts. Beautiful. We have made 25 grand in cash. Half of another payoff. Even after all of that expense that we did. Even after putting fifty nine thousand dollars into the bank, we're half over halfway to paying another three thousand dollars in interest down. That's beautiful. We are just raking in the money. I want to see what retail looks like the day before today. Let's go look at that real quick. Is it that way? Retail was 27000 26000 24000 Today, 33000 That's awesome. We might actually go positive. We've gone positive. Net positive. Are you kidding? I don't know that we'll stay there, but holy crap. Yeah. We went net positive that day. Negative. We were positive on day 55. I didn't realize we were actually making a profit like that. Whew. And we hit 80% uh, passenger satisfaction. That's wonderful. Double negative fails. 
80%. What a beautiful day. Day 56 was a good day. Day 57, we're looking to have an even better day. All right, we're going to wrap it up here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. If you have any comments, suggestions, throw them in the comment section below. And of course, if you enjoyed this, consider clicking the good old subscribe. Well, oh, sorry. I messed that up. And of course, if you enjoyed this and you haven't subscribed, there we go. Consider, consider clicking that good old subscribe button in YouTube will let you know when to get fresh content out. All that being said, and a little bit fumbled, I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.